Hello citizens and welcome back. In today's video I would like to talk about exploration ships currently in game, specifically the Corsair, the Constellation, the 400i and the Freelancer Dur. How do they compare and which one is the best? As always, if you like this video, sacrifice a like and a comment to the YouTube algorithm as it helps the video get seen by more people. And of course subscribe for more and here is a shout out to our amazing patrons for their support of the channel and the armory. So I picked the Kani, the Corsair and the 400i because they are all roughly the same size and are designated as exploration ships. The Freelancer Dur also made the list because it's very close in size as well. Also these four represent the very good cross section of manufacturers and relative age of the design. Now we don't know yet what will be involved in exploration, but I think that we can say with some certainty that the ability to stay out for a long time, crew comfort and protection will be important factors. I will skip over sensors and scanners for now as they are not properly implemented and balanced yet. Let's start with the Kani. The Kani is the oldest ship in this lineup and along with the Carrick it was one of the first exploration ships to be announced. And that is actually its greatest weakness. The old design really shows with the Kani. However, I think that eventually there will be a complete rework. Now, the Constellation Aquila, which is the exploration variant, is one of the many variants of the Constellation series, which is another weakness. The Constellation series offers very little in terms of crew comforts due to the fact that a large part of the ship is occupied by the cargo bay, which is not quite necessary for exploration. I think the Aquila could make use of a similar two-floor setup as the Phoenix. It could maintain a cargo bay large enough for a vehicle, while the current crew area could be converted into an armory. And then the top floor of the current cargo area would house crew quarters and common areas. The major advantage of the Constellation over the other ships mentioned is that it has a dedicated snapcraft that can be used for combat or close-range exploration. Other than that, I think it's more or less the same in terms of range and flight. It does however sacrifice one third to house a scanner, which could make a difference in the future. Moving on to the Freelancer Dur. Now there isn't much to mention here. The Freelancer Dur doesn't have many features that would make it stand out from the other ships in this list. It can't fit any ground vehicles besides the Rock, Hoverbikes and the STV, only has one third and it has similar crew comforts to the Constellation. However, it is the smallest ship on this list which might make it easier to explore smaller jump points or areas that are difficult to fly through. Moving on to the 400i. The 400i is actually a mixed bag for me, even though it's my daily driver. The layout of the cargo bay is a bit wasteful, resulting in some vehicles such as the Origin's own rover not fitting. At least according to specifications since it's not implemented yet. At the same time, the cargo bay is very small, offering the least amount of space compared to other ships mentioned. The 400i also has a more balanced weapon coverage compared to the heavy front-facing firepower of the other ships mentioned, but it does feature smaller weapons. On the other hand, the 400i features very well-designed crew areas and separate engineering and living spaces. However, I feel like these increased creature comforts may be more suitable for more safe adventure tourism rather than full-on exploration into the unknown. I think that the 400i is benefiting from the fact that unlike RSI and Drake, the origin design language is very well evolved, though it might not be the rugged exploration ships some people are looking for. Now let's move on to the Corsair. The Corsair takes a lot of good parts of Drake design and even some good parts of good design from other manufacturers. It provides plenty of cargo and vehicle space, reasonable crew comforts and multiple ways to enter the ship. For me, the major highlight is that it has a lot of exterior lights that can help with landing or when working near the ship. The main disadvantage is the imbalance in firepower. While the Corsair has many powerful front-facing pilot control guns, its turrets are comparatively weak and it lacks good coverage to the rear. However, I feel like it is the most durable and easy to repair ship on this list, which would make it very suitable for operating in remote areas without assistance. Ok, so which one is the best? Well, I think it all comes down to your preference. The Kani and the Freelancer are most suitable for people looking for a ship that can do more than just be a dedicated explorer, as they both can carry a substantial amount of cargo or serve as a gunship. The same can be said about the Corsair. It has enough cargo space to haul cargo and is armed well enough to protect that cargo, which would make it a good cargo ship for less civilized places or for exploring other people's cargo holds. But I also feel like it can handle extended trips into the unknown. As far as the 400i, it is truly a dedicated explorer. The crew can undertake long journeys in comfort and it can defend itself but I would prefer taking it to areas where I don't expect trouble. With that being said, that's it for tonight. What do you think? Which ship is your favorite explorer? 
Do you think another ship should have been mentioned? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, fly safe, and I will see you in the verse.